Hi everyone, welcome. I'm Davey and today I'm in my kitchen sharing with you a chili recipe. Now this recipe is very simple. It requires minimum effort. Just use a lot of cans, some ground beef, onion, and you're set to go and let it simmer. So it is a very simple recipe and it is very hearty and wholesome. It is not a weak thin soup. It has definitely got some um, body to the soup. Now this recipe was my mom's that I have learned when I was a little girl. She taught it to me so I'm sharing it with you guys and I hope you enjoy it and end up using it during these cooler winter months. I should say cold winter months where I'm at but I hope you can try it out and let me know in the comments if you do and give it a thumbs up if you like recipe videos and I am just going to jump in and share with you what you need and what you do when you make this chili. Your ingredients include a pound and a half of ground beef or two pounds, depends on your liking, one large white onion, and then you need some salt and pepper for seasoning, some canned tomatoes, now I use home canned tomatoes, and that is a quart jar, then some Worcestershire sauce, chili powder, salsa, two cans of kidney beans, and two cans of tomato soup. So to start off with, you just add everything that you have. I am using my home canned tomatoes. Now you could use two cans of crushed or diced or even whole tomatoes because that's what mine are that are store bought. I add my drained kidney beans. I like the dark. You can use light if you wish. And then any type of tomato soup that you wish to use and add that in there. And then you just add your salsa. I add about a cup of salsa. This salsa is from Sam's Club that I end up using. You'll see it here in a little bit. Um, but it has a little more spice to it. So if you want more of a mild flavor, don't add quite as much. And then add as much of the chili powder as you want. About a dash of Worcestershire sauce, so like a tablespoon or two. Again, it's all to your liking and to your taste but it is one of the most complimented soups that I get and I serve it to guests quite often. So it is definitely worth your while and worth your time to make. After you've combined everything, just stir it all up and let it simmer for half hour, an hour, the longer it simmers, the better it tastes. I actually ended up making this the night before we had guests. It stuck the whole pot in my fridge. The next day, the flavors were much more prevalent. So I almost recommend making it the day before. To serve this chili, it is great with shredded cheese, a dollop of sour cream or Greek yogurt, and some tortilla chips. It is the best chili I have ever had. You can try it yourself and tell me whether it is or not. And there you have it. Delicious chili made from scratch, made easy and delicious. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you can make it or are inspired to make simple chilies and soups and you can vary it to your liking if you like it more mild leave out some of the chili powder if you like it more spicy put in some sriracha put in some um, jalapeno peppers whatever you like to make it to your desired taste anyway subscribe if you're new i do videos on simple and thrifted living diys homemaking and motherhood and i'd love to have you join my community with that have a blessed and wonderful day bye